This video is designed to talk you through the plate tectonic theory for your GCSE course. You can see here some of the terms that we need to know. We're going to deal with the first three, core, mantle and crust. These are key for the structure of the earth. The core is the innermost layer of the earth. It is a solid and is the hottest part of the earth. The mantle is the middle layer of the earth, which is a liquid. It contains magma. The crust is the outer layer of the earth. It is divided into large sections, which are called plates. If you have a look at this diagram, you can see the various terms that we have just discussed. The innermost layer of the earth is divided into two here, called the outer and inner core. You can see it in this part of the diagram. The mantle is the orange section of the diagram. The crust is the thin outer layer of the earth's surface. Plates are large sections of the earth's crust. So, the crust is the outer layer of the Earth's surface, and the outer layer of the Earth's surface is therefore divided into large sections, which are called plates. This diagram shows some of the main plates. Here you can see the UK is part of the Eurasian plates. Sorry, the Eurasian plate. This black line represents the plate boundary between the Eurasian plate and the North American plate. Other main plates include the African plate, the South American plate and the Pacific plate. Convection currents are movements of magma in the mantle driven by heat from the core and this causes plate movement. The convection currents occur in the mantle in this area here and they cause the plates, or the crust, to move. This diagram represents convection currents. Convection currents are driven by the heat from the core. The heat from the core causes the mantle next to it to warm up and rise. So it will typically move in this fashion. At this point, the mantle is further away from the heat source. It therefore cools. It spreads out and then sinks back down, which forms up our convection currents. So we get this sort of cycle set up. Okay. This part of the diagram here causes this part of the Earth's surface or the crust or the plate to move. You can see then that the convection currents occur throughout all different parts of the mantle. 